I abuse you? Is there a Bakri child running the soundboard? Bah. I see the call still connected. Are you still there? Hello? 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 I'm okay. How are you? Hey, well, listen, I'm putting to let you know about this new final expense for life insurance plan that is designed to cover 100% of your funeral expenses. Have you seen some of our ads on TV or is there a card in the mail about it? Yes, I can use some final expense. What do I have to do to get this? Listen, listen, all right, so these plans are available to you with no medical exams or personal visits to your home. So what I'd like to do for you is get to a call with one of our specialists so that they can educate you further with your eyes. Right. Yes! Kevin, yeah, it's the best time to call you back in the morning, so afternoon, so you know. It would be in the evening because then I'm finished <laughs> with meeting with my probation officer. And I'm finished with watching reruns of the Golden Girls on TV. Hello? 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 How can I abuse you? Hi, this is John. How are you? I'm okay. How are you? I'm also fine, sir. So the reason for my call is to inform you that you are qualified for some additional Medicare benefits. So I believe you have Medicare Part A and B, right? I've had Medicare ever since I retarded at age 65. Okay. Uh, sir, do you have made condition? Do I have what? Sir, do you make have own decision? Um, yes, I'm in Michigan. The murder mitten. Okay. Sir, uh, what is your last name? My What's last name? name is Grinnell. Hello? 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 How can I abuse you? Hello. My name is Mark. How are you doing today? I'm okay. How are you? I'm okay. Thanks for asking. This call is about some new additional benefits for the next few years. You have Medicare Part A and be active. Yes, I've had Medicare ever since I retarded at age 65. All right, you are perfectly eligible for the next major benefits without any change, without any additional cost. So what do I have to do to get this? Do you make own your health care decision? I've been making my own decisions ever since I fired my caseworker, Sharon Needles, and ever since I fired my lawyer, Saul Goodman. So what do I have to do to get this? Sir, what is your zip code? My zip code is 48126. 48126. Yes! Okay, so you have medical card along with you. Well, my Medicare card is upstairs. It'll take a few moments for me to get it. You move a bit slow, 
when you're 73, so I'm climbing the stairs. <laughs> Excuse me, that happens every time I smoke Hindu Kush. Just another set of stairs. Okay, it's okay, sir. Let me uh, open the drawer here. Let me dig through the drawer. Okay, I have my Medicare card number. Do you have a penis and paper to write it down? No, no, I know. I don't need your Medicare card number. Uh, my license agent will ask about that to pull up your Medicare profile, okay? Okay. So Medicare card handy. The Medicare card in in your hand. Yes, I have my Medicare card in my hand. Okay, okay. So, uh, what is your date of birth? I was born a poor child, Christmas Day, year of our Lord, 1950. When I was born, Liaquat Ali Khan was Prime Minister of Pakistan and Harry Truman was President of the United States. So that's December 25, 1950. My mother said I was a Christmas gift to the world during the early stages of the Cold War. Your date of birth? December 25, 1950. December 25, 1950, correct? Yes! Okay, so how you pronounce your first and last name? My first name is Robert, and my last name is Grinnell. Your first name is Robert, and the last name is Grinnell. Yes! Okay, so you are eligible for New Year benefit without any additional cost, without any change. And you have Medicare Part A and B, correct? Yes! And first... Ever since I retarded at age 65. Okay, so are you retired from military, Navy, Army? Mm -hmm. Well, I was once in the military. But I don't have any WEA or TRICARE benefits. What happened is I was stationed as a guard at the U.S. Embassy in Islamabad. And I got a call from my aunt in America saying a call center worker in Rawal Pindi stole her life savings. So I became angry and I went AWOL and I liberated the limousine of the U.S. Ambassador to Pakistan. And I drove 50 minutes to Rawal Pindi. And I found the call center, and I entered it, and I found the call center worker who ripped off my aunt. So I held him hostage, and I beat him with the wooden part of the M16. And then I got a call from the president of Pakistan, and he promised he would reimburse my aunt as long as I freed my prisoner. So I freed my prisoner, and then I left my M16 on the floor of the call center. And I went outside stark naked so everyone could see I was unarmed. But a Pakistani sharpshooter still shot me in the head. And after that, I was court-martialed and disarmedly discharged. So I have no WEA or TRICARE. Okay. So what do I have to do to get this program? I gonna connect you with my senior supervisor. He further assist you and provide the information about some additional benefits for the next few years. So stay with me, stay online, okay? Okay. I look forward to speaking with the senior suppository. I want to connect you with my senior supervisor, so stay with me. Okay, I'm staying with you to get this senior suppository.
Hello. Hello. Sir, I called you back after few minutes. So, so my senior supervisor uh, is right busy now. So I called you back. Okay. I look forward to getting a call from your senior suppository. Okay. My name is James. Remember that. Okay, I'll remember James and James is... Hello? Hello? Please like and subscribe. Thank you.